Hi, and welcome to Fun Joy Peace. My name is Elena, and today we are talking about yoga, the mental game of it all. So if you are new to yoga, you may be a little concerned because you are a beginner. We all had to start somewhere, okay? I did, all my friends did when we got into yoga. I almost fell into a table when I started practicing yoga at home. Um, but you live, you learn, and it's just something where we all have to start at the bottom and work our way up. But one thing about being new to yoga is, is that you see it with a fresh pair of eyes that some of us may not see it anymore. But you get to ask all the questions, you get to like learn more about yourself and what type of um, yoga journey you want to take. Are you going to do vinyasa? Are you more into yin or restorative or any of the other types of yoga? You get to choose. So just be mindful of that. Another thing that I do want to just um, comment on is the fact that when you're in these classes, eyes on your own mat. And when I say that, don't be focused on what other people are capable of doing in the yoga class because it's all about you. It's not about being in competition with anybody. It's more about you just enjoying your practice and also evolving your practice into wherever you want to take it. So like for me, I am I did not stretch a lot in my early 20s and I'm paying for it now because my flexibility kind of sucks right now. But I know if as long as I continue to have my own practice, as long as I start to focus on certain muscle groups that I may have a, lim a lot um, limited flexibility in, I'm going to see those wins over time. It's just about sticking with it. So am I going to be upset that somebody can do a headstand? No. Happy for you, I am, but I'll get there eventually. It's just not right now. But if I'm consistent, I know I'll get there. And I want you to have that same positive outlook on that too. Um, You'll get to wherever you need to go. Just be consistent in your practice and you'll do wonderfully. Another thing I want you to be not be concerned about is what if you can't hold a pose for too long? I remember I hated down dogs with a passion and every single time we would go in them, it's like we held them forever. And I'm just like, do you not see me? Do you not see these little arms over here shaking? I can't do this. And that was the... That was like a, my mindset. And yeah, if I keep saying I can't, well then yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it. But while you are trying to build strength and endurance, all you have to do is just hop down into child's pose. Just find another pose that you can kind of rest in while everyone else is suffering and just go into that pose. Child's pose became, became one of my favorites, especially when I injured my shoulder because I still wanted to practice. I just couldn't hold certain poses for long without... Um, it aggravating my shoulder. So just find the variation that your um, that works for you or your instructor will probably say some type of modification for you, for anybody who's struggling in a particular pose to call out as well. And one thing that I do want to just say is you may not like every yoga instructor. That's okay. I had one particular yoga instructor that was my favorite and it's just because she had always always a really good playlist and it was a vinyasa flow class and those are my jam and I just love them so much so every time I would see her I would want to go to her class <coughs> excuse me I would want to go to her class but there were some other instructors there too that were great but I just did not vibe with them and that's okay you may not vibe with every single yoga instructor but I would say at least try every single class that you can um, take to see what style you like and also what kind of instructors you do find yourself gravitating towards but I will say this um, I would not you know badmouth any instructors because I remember real talk Kim said this every pastor has their flock that they're supposed to um, minister to and make sure that they look after. Well, with yoga, we each have our own styles and I know my style may not be everybody's. I'm okay with that. But if I'm not your style, I hope you find somebody else who you mesh with, that you click with, and that you enjoy like going to their classes and hearing from them. But everyone has their own style and we're all just doing the best that we can with what we were created with, but also with our personalities as well. So just be mindful of that and please be respectful because everyone is trying to do their best. But like I said, yoga is a little bit of a mental game, especially when it comes to um, 
holding with certain poses for long periods of time or just being quiet for long enough. I know for a while I hated meditation, hated it. Now my body craves it. I need it every single day. It helps get me going in the right direction. It literally changes my outlook on things. And typically I meditate with the Bible and a lot of the promises that God has for us. And it just literally changes my outlook. And so if you usually hate just being sitting there and being quiet, I challenge you. And this is coming from somebody who hated it to at least give it a try, maybe five days in a row. And you don't have to do it for long periods of time, maybe like five minutes and see how you do. Just focus on your breath. I have a few meditations um, available as well. I have, and every Monday they'll be out. So meditation Mondays, that's what I call them. So you can always look on YouTube for those. And sometimes I think I do post them on Instagram as well. But that's just something that you could do as well to see how you uh, function after you meditate. But I just kind of wanted to get on here and tell you about some of the mental games that you may experience while in yoga. But you guys have a wonderful day. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to direct message me at FunJoyPeace on Instagram. And you can also subscribe on YouTube, FunJoyPeace, so you don't ever miss any type of videos that I have for you. But if you just want to leave a comment, that's cool too. You can leave it right below on the video. But have a wonderful day, and I'll see you around.